Hey, hello, and welcome to Michael's Minty Music for today. Today, we were reviewing Pink Floyd's 1971 album, Metal. Uh, it's good, although a bit short, I think. Um, although there's the big, long track at the end. Uh, it could use some more high-energy er tracks, in my opinion. It's a bit on the slow side. This is the track listing. Uh, so the B-side, side 2, has one long track, which I've already mentioned, Echoes. It's in a similar fashion as the previous couple of Pink Floyd albums, uh, Adam Hart, Mother, etc. And it's 23 minutes long, so the total is actually for a normal album, but it feels shorter because of the long side two track for some reason. These are the tracks I add to my playlist, four out of the six, although one of those is the, the big long Echoes track. So that's three out of the five on the on side one which is pretty good just over half ultimately i i did choose to add echoes the the big one although there are sections of it i really don't like i enjoyed enough that i decided to add it to my playlist there are definitely parts of it that i really like and there are definitely parts of it that i'm kind of not a fan of but overall i think it's good and it's definitely got more good sections than bad sections uh, so this album clearly follows sort of a same similar style to their previous ad album, Adam Hart Mother. It's got a bit less polish, but it does have a clearer theme. Um, the songs in the album are mostly slower. Essentially, late 60s, early 70s alternative progressive rock, sort of in that slow style. Uh, there are some hints of other genres in some songs, uh, like San Trapez and Seamus, which both have a little bit of pop stuff. But for the most part, all the songs are sort of slow to mid-tempo rock songs. There were no singles off this album, and I think my favorite song here, I gotta go with uh, the opening track, One of These Days. There isn't really any super standout tracks on this album, they're all kind of in a similar quality. Uh, but the opening, despite being an instrumental, doesn't devolve into sort of music, and does actually manage to keep the form of a regular song quite well. The bass and guitar parts keep the song going really good, and it doesn't just go into a sort of long solo, um, random noise-esque <laughs> sort of song, which is a pleasant surprise for Pink Floyd. Now, I rank this album second out of all the Pink Floyd albums I've heard so far, just barely under Adam Hart Mother. I think they're they're pretty close because they're they're basically the same style and same sort of concept. I think uh, Metal takes ideas from Adam Hart Mother, but sacrifices better songs for a more consistent theme. Um, instead of just making good music, I think they they really focused on trying to do sort of a, an echoish sort of mid tempo theme here. Um, and while that's good, I don't think it's really great unless you have really great songs. I think you should should go for the songs first and then um, try to pull something out of that. Uh, additionally, this album doesn't take my top spot from 1971. That stays with Cold Spring Harbor uh, by Billy Joel, his debut album. I feel Cold Spring Harbor is a lot more palatable, and it has a lot more variety. There's a lot of different things to enjoy or dislike on Cold Spring Harbor, where on metal it's basically the one style, um, which is enjoyable, but uh, it's it's not it's not as good, I don't think. Next up, we have Taylor Swift's 2020 album Folklore, her first 2020 album. She released two in 2020. It's a very different um, style and shift for her, um, very much sort of alternative instead of pop, and it's quite an interesting album. So I'm. Excited to review that, and as always, stay minty.